What's up guys, Pop Pop one here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to fix every single bug, issue, and how to increase performance for Blade & Sorcery U12 and future versions. So let's get started. If Blade & Sorcery Nomad isn't installing or the connection to mod.io isn't working or authenticating, firstly you can force reboot your headset by holding down the power button until it turns off and then on again. If this doesn't work, make sure your Quest 2 is connected to internet or Wi-Fi by going here. If that doesn't work, you can uninstall then reinstall Nomad manually. And if that still doesn't work, you can factor reset your quest too. I know it's a hassle, but there isn't much that can be done at this point. It's due to the meta servers. Blade and Sorcery is crashing. Here's three steps to help you fix it. You can start off by removing your mods one by one or a couple at a time if you have a lot until the game loads normally. That'll tell you which mod of yours is causing the issues. If none of the mods are working at all, make sure you're unzipping them properly and dropping the folder inside the zip into your mods folder. If that doesn't fix your problem, delete your save file. It's located here. Or, for the Quest 2, it's located here. If that still doesn't work, select everything in the Blade & Sorcery folder, uninstall, then reinstall. For everybody complaining about the visual bugs or fisheye view, Virtual Desktop actually just got fixed on March 28th, so if you haven't updated it, update that and the streamer and you should be good to go. If your game is lagging a ton, here are a few settings you can change in the book to help, although I'll be releasing my better performance mod sometime in the near future because it is actually finished and I gotta say, I think I did a fantastic job on it. Here's a couple settings that I included in it. You can decrease the amount of particles in game, you can remove a couple of the screen enhancements. You can change your screen size, you can choose whether or not to despawn creatures on kill and how long it takes for them to despawn. You can despawn every item on starting a new map. You can despawn an item whenever you release it, so that includes throwing, dropping it, or using telekinesis on it, and you can customize how long that takes. There's also an option in there for a debugger, so for those of you that want to use this with your mods, go right on ahead. But keep in mind, it does spam the console due to the particles decreasing. But that's it. I think that's everything that I wanted to show you guys on how to fix your Blade and Sorcerer for U12 and for the majority of future versions as well. If you guys like this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out the channel a ton. Thanks for watching.